Today's video is the final video in our zipper series and we're talking about how to draw the zipper slider. Zipper sliders can be really important because they're another way for a company to add branding to their garment. And so each season you may have a different shape, a different logo, um, some type of customized zipper puller. And so what I'm gonna show you today is a way to create your zipper slider and do it in a way where it's real easy to swap out the puller each season. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the anatomy of a zipper slider. It's comprised of three main parts, the body, the bridge, and the puller. To start, find a picture of a generic zipper puller. I usually search for a YKK puller and drag it or place it onto your artboard. Scale down as needed and then lower the opacity so the picture is easier to trace. Be sure to also straighten the image as best you can if the image is a little crooked. We'll need it to be pretty straight when we start drawing later on. Lock the picture so you don't have to worry about selecting it while you're drawing. Next, Grab a guide to mark the center of the zipper slider. Bring up your rulers first, then drag a vertical guide to the center of the object. I usually just eyeball this. As long as the guide is not visually placed too far left or right, your zipper pull will still look symmetrical. Okay, so let's start to sketch. We talked about how the slider has three separate parts and that's also how you're going to draw it. So first, you'll draw half the body. Then you'll reflect it and join the shape. Next, you'll create the bridge. And for this, I like to just keep it simple and use the rounded rectangle. And here's a quick tip when using the rounded rectangle tool. To change the corner radius, which is the amount of roundness on the corners, tap the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard. Note that you can also use the regular rectangle tool and then use live corners to round off the corners of the rectangle. And then you'll create the slider. Draw the outer shape first. Then reflect it and join the shape. Use the rectangle and the ellipse tools to complete the look of the slider. Now you could just keep these shapes as is filled with white, but to get the true representation of the slider, that rectangle and oval should be knocked out, meaning it should look like you can see through the shapes. So how do you do that in Illustrator? Well, you'll need to create something called a compound path. And the quickest way to do that is with the Shape Builder tool. Select each part of the puller and then choose the Shape Builder tool. Shape Builder automatically defaults to combining or creating closed shapes. But for this, we want to delete the rectangular and oval shapes. So to subtract those shapes from the overall puller, hover over the shape, press and hold the Alt or Option key, and click inside the shape. Do this for the rectangle and the oval so that now those areas are removed from the pull shape. Now that the puller is complete, rearrange the object so that the bridge is to the front. Group your puller and drag it to your CC libraries for future use. And next season, if you wanna create a new puller, all you need to do is create your new design Ungroup this new one you just created and replace the old puller with the new one. Creating your zipper slider this way makes it really simple to swap out the puller each season. So subscribe, like, share the video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.